Did you know that you can use ChatGPT to create Excel spreadsheets for you? It's true. In this video, I'll show you how. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. So here I am in Microsoft Excel, and some of you may know that you can get add-ins that kind of connect Microsoft Copilot to Microsoft Excel or ChatGPT to Excel and things like that so that you can use some AI right from within Microsoft Excel, and that can be a good idea. But in certain situations and in some cases, it's actually better to go to the AI tool, ChatGPT in this case, describe the spreadsheet you want created, and actually have ChatGPT in this case create it for you. Let's give it a try. So let's say I want to create a spreadsheet that's kind of a mood tracker. Here's a description of it that I composed earlier with some help. And I could do this myself. I'd have to really think about it, about how to structure it and how to make this happen. But instead of creating this myself, in this case, I want to see what can ChatGPT do. So I've put in my description, I submit it, and let's see what ChatGPT produces. So it's creating a beautiful looking outline, basically, and description of this spreadsheet. I'm really liking this. This is great, but I missed one step when I put in the description. I should have said, not just create a colorful, engaging spreadsheet, I should have said an Excel spreadsheet. But notice what ChatGPT is saying at the bottom of of the resulting text. It says, I can generate the Excel file and do some of these other things. Would you like me to generate the Excel file? I'll say yes, and I'll submit that, and let's see what happens. So here, ChatGPT has produced the Excel spreadsheet that I asked for. It's actually attached here, and I can download it just by clicking. It's downloaded now to my computer. I'll click to open it up, and this is what ChatGPT has created for me. Now, in order to edit this, I do need to click Enable Editing because I downloaded this from the internet. Excel is a little suspicious of it. I'm going to click and drag from column A to column E, and then double-click between any two columns to spread out those columns, stretch them out wide enough so that I can see all of the data. So this is a fantastic start on what I asked for. And again, I could have created this myself, but putting in these emojis and doing all of this, ChatGPT just saved me a bunch of work by doing this for me. Notice that in addition to the mood log, I have a summary. Let's stretch that out as well so I can see that better. And a visualizer. Now, not all of this is exactly the way I would have wanted, you know? I want some colors in there. I want some more interactivity, but I can certainly add that in myself. And just like with pretty much any artificial intelligence tool, I do not recommend that you just turn over your work completely to an artificial intelligence. It's not always going to produce accurate results or results exactly the way you would want. But this is a great time saver to get you started down the process of creating an Excel spreadsheet. And then you can customize it from there using the skills that you learn on my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could certainly click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, thank you so much to my super techie channel supporters. Thanks so much. I really appreciate the way you support the channel and enable me to keep doing this work and producing these videos.